And mom farted. <laughs> Can you turn that off, please? <laughs> we have fun. First question. What are your goals for 2022? I'm assuming that he wrote that that his biggest goal is for the house to not burn down. <laughs> um, you got organization and cleaning up this place. Okay. So what I would pick. <laughs> I would like to be able to grow, raise, and harvest at least 50% of our food in this coming year here on our home. Question number two. Describe where you want this year from age. Oh, um, more time together, really being intentional when we're home to take time for one another. I know that's not one word. <laughs> They're all road time. Yeah. Time. Okay, so we're on the same page for something. <laughs> Probably the only thing on this list. Okay. Question number three. What is our what is your goal for me for me spell? Miss Bell is our Jersey cow. Um, <laughs> my goal for her would be that we have a calf in the late spring, early summer, and that we learn how to milk our cow. Very early. <laughs> and we're going to be calf sharing, and that we would provide, again, our own milk, um, most of our own dairy products for our family. Daryl said to, pro to produce a calf we can sell. <laughs> All right, are we gonna have questions? Question four. What is your favorite thing to grow in this garden this year? Daryl probably said, well, he doesn't like any kind of vegetable or fruit. So. His response is not what you'd think. Uh, it is what you'd think, but not guess. Um, worms? Huh? Worms? Money. Money? <laughs> he wants to grow money in the garden? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So he's thinking we're going to have a little bit of a market garden going as well. <laughs> if so, he just wants money, I guess. Are we on number five? Number five. What is your important goal for this garden this year? I'm going to guess Daryl said money. <laughs> Finish it and make it look nice. Yes. So he has made, um, he has changed some of our plans for our garden this year, which we will talk about in our garden reveal, but it's very exciting. So definitely to make it nicer, to make it a part of our property right now, we've got temporary fences and temporary beds. So. Yes, question six. Question six. How many Cornish cross slash meat birds do you hope to process this spring? I'm assuming Daryl said zero. <laughs> yeah. He's not excited about this uh, new venture with the meat birds. Um, originally, I wanted to do 50. He's talked me down to the first set we do doing 12. Mm -hmm. He said start smaller. <laughs> So we're gonna start smaller. Why uh, did you start at 50? Because it's cheaper. If you buy 51, then you process them all at one time. It's just easier. Uh -huh. But that's my thought. However, I've never done it. So he's probably yeah. erring on the side of wisdom. Get experience first. <laughs> Get experience and start small. Okay, um, are we on number seven? seven. Daryl probably said nothing. <laughs> he said ice cream. Ice cream. We do. We make good ice cream, don't we? We make good ice cream. I didn't even think of that. 
Um, everything. I mean, the amount of milk we go through, the amount of yogurt you and I alone go through, butter. Um, I'm really excited about the butter. I really like the pizza. You eat it straight from the refrigerator. So we're very excited about dairy products. Indeed. <laughs> If we were to get a new animal for the farm in 2022, what would it be? Daryl would say, we are not getting any more animals. Um, he said a Doberman Pinscher. <laughs> a dog. Yeah. We don't need any more dogs. They're uh, pretty cool. I would love to get a pig, but I don't think I could bring myself to actually eat a pig that we raise. Whereas like, bacon. I know. So I think we're gonna find another it's not like they're cute. Huh? It's not like pigs I, are cute. Some are. I think all pigs are cute. <laughs> what would. Okay. What question is this? Nine. Question nine. What is your favorite thing on the homestead on 2021? I think the progress that we made, I think, well, let me start with what Daryl would say. Um, I don't know. Getting his shop finished? Yeah, he said getting the small shop expanded. Yeah. Um, and that's exciting. That was, that was probably one of the biggest things that happened this year. But also getting our, our garden set up and kind of learning how to grow food, learning where we were failing. Um, I'd say expand the entire house. <laughs> yeah, I think I think learning in the garden, getting our cows back in February, um, the chickens producing and really making a lot of our eggs. By the way, expanding the entire farm. Was that it? Yep. Okay. 2021, um, not newlywed homestead edition.
Bye, Bill.